Hello folks, welcome back to another episode of Devotees of Jesus. This is your host, Julian Phillips, and we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Guardian Angel, you are made by God exclusively, exclusively for me. I call on you to give me words for this reading. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 20, verses 24 to 29. Thomas, the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he replied, Until I have seen in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Despite the locked doors, Jesus came in. He stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Stretch out your hand and put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas then said, You are my Lord and my God. Jesus replied, You believe because you see me, don't you? Happier still are those who believe, though they do not see. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So let's say you have a dream. You want to become a successful business person, a champion athlete, own your own home, travel the world, whatever it is. And at this point in time, it's just a dream. It's something that lives on in your mind that animates your heart. You can't point to any business success yet. You can't point to any amazing sporting career. You can't point to any house. Your passport shows no sign of having traveled anywhere. What is to be done? What is one to do? If you follow the formula of the world, you will say, I I believe it when I see it. I believe it when I see it. So when I see the necessary stamps in my passport, then I will believe that this thing is a done deal. If you are a disciple of Christ, you follow that last line. Happier still are those who believe, although they do not see. We are asked to accept a lot without any proof. That is true. Not too long ago, we heard the reading of Jesus healing a paralyzed man and what prompted him to heal the paralyzed man was the faith of those who brought him in we saw the miracle of the woman who was healed of her bleeding by grabbing jesus's clothes and he told the woman her faith saved her on the way to jairus's house to heal her daughter teresa from the dead jesus told told jairus don't fear just believe just believe Just believe, just have faith. Life is something that only begins with death. Once we breathe our last and we enter into heaven, then we enter into an enormity of existence that we realize wasn't possible for this physical world. In the meantime, we dream. We daydream. And if it is one thing the Christian can see, it is that by calling on Jesus so much, I just assume that in my last moment, God will take me to heaven. And then there are the things in between. This reflection is going to be very short, so don't be a doubt in Thomas. Don't demand to see, then believe. Believe first, then see. That is the order of things. Signs follow the believer. Our Lady of Good Counsel. Pray for us.